Right, in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to fit an oil cooler kit to your car. Totally universal kit. Make the brackets yourself, make the oil lines yourself, and make it fit as good as that. So stay tuned. Right, so the next job on the Evo, knocking them off one by one. So we're getting there in the end. So we've got to fit this Mokul oil cooler and um, it's a nice big oil cooler. We ain't got one on there at the minute. So we're gonna mount it behind this duct here where this grill is. So I'm gonna, just as long as it gets some airflow through it, just sitting behind there, it'd be absolutely perfect. So gonna whip this bumper off quickly and then we're gonna find out where we can put it, make some brackets up. We've got plenty of mounting spots that we can mount it to. Let's get this bumper off. Right, so the bumper's off now. So I'm just currently mocking it up with the old oil cooler. So um, I don't have to use the, fresh one and damage that so we just got it into a position that I'm very happy with now and I've just lined up that duct on the bumper and it sits where it doesn't sit directly behind it but it gets a lot of airflow and it's pretty much the best you can do because obviously I've got to put the oil lines under there and they can't be too close to the ground obviously the oil lines can't be on the top because then they're, they ain't got no room to tuck around this water bottle so they go at the bottom so uh, that's about where I'm going to have it and then I'm going to make up some bracket tree and I can obviously move it up and down with this jack just to get it perfectly in line. So very happy with it there. So we're going to start making up some brackets for it. Right, so I've got this nice bracket here that I'm going to put up into this inner wing. And I've got a nut to go on there. And then we can pack that on. It's going to sit like there. It's a little bit adjustable. I can sort of move it around and twist it around a little bit. And you can see here, it's obviously got captive nuts on it, so I can adjust where I want this oil cooler. So it's gonna be raised up a little bit. So I better put a bracket, bracket to the back of that, and we should have a nice mounting point on this left-hand side. So I just cable tied this side up over here, so I've got some pivoting point. And I'm just gonna get it up to like, sort of the level that I want it. Sort of, uh, just underneath that washer bottle. Maybe a little bit more. Sort of just, no, a little bit down than that. So around about there I want it. So I just made this bracket up and I'm gonna bolt onto the back of these captive nuts. And I'm just gonna mark these up quickly for the bolt holes. So what I'm gonna do is gonna make this bracket in two pieces because it goes at a sort of angle and I'm gonna split it, join it here and I'm gonna weld it together, which obviously I'll show you in the process. So. Just mark them now for the two bolt holes. So I just pulled this bracket off so I can do it on the bench. You can see here, I've drilled out the holes now, so I'm just gonna put that in there. Um, I've just cleaned out these threads as well with a thread tapper because obviously there's a little bit of rust in that in there where they're not even being used. So they've got these nice little fittings to go on the back. So at least this bracket will actually be able to be pulled off. Uh, it's not a fixed unit because I was gonna actually just weld it straight to this bracket, but I thought no. I wanted to be able to unbolt it when it was still on the car. So now we get this bracket back on and then we can uh, cut this wherever we want. So that's gonna be cut at an angle because of the angle that this bracket is at. Um, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So you can see here why I'm doing this bracket in two bits. So you can see like all the brackets all at different angles and everything to get this to work. I've just made up this section here that's gonna be used to bolt along here. And you see I've sort of made this section at like an angle because it's gonna fit in there nicely against that bracket there like that. And then I'll trim it down. So I'm just gonna mark it up here, trim it down, and then I'll drill the bolt holes in. Once that's all bolted in, then I'll be able to tack that and weld it in. Right, so that bracket's made up as well now. You can see obviously with the angled section, two bolt holes in there. So I'm gonna bolt that on. Well, that's the bracket welded up nice and strong. Just grind down the welds to make it a little bit tidier. Just gonna give it a lick of paint now. We can get that on. So you can see it's sort of like a weird angled bracket, which is really the reason I couldn't bend it in one piece. So it worked out well doing it that way. So because it takes a lot longer to actually film stuff than making it itself, um, I actually just made up the other side bracket as well for the other part of the oil cooler. 
you can see here I've found a bit of stainless flat bar and I made it out of that. I'm going to paint it anyway even though I wouldn't really need to. So you can see here what I've done with this one is I just cut a slot into it, bent it over and then sort of like tacked it and welded it up there. So just going to get some uh, protection on both of these brackets just to give it that stealth look. And you can see the sort of weird angles that we had to make. So it's twisted and bent and all sorts of things. But it's going to go on there mint and I'll show you when it's all fitted. So let's get these painted. Right, so I've got these brackets sitting up in the sun now. Just in some gloss black. I've just put some etch primer over them and then let them dry for 15, 20 minutes. And then bang some of this over the top. So just want to let you know, like, this stuff is brilliant. Pro Coat stuff. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. But I've used tons and tons and tons of cans. I've got hundreds of cans of different paints that I've used, jet blacks and that. Things like the Halfords ones, absolutely crap. Um, this stuff goes on more like a powder coat, so you can see it's already a tough industrial um, paint. And it's actually quite cheap. I think it's like six quid a can in tool station. Um, just letting you know because if you don't want to get the gun out, you know, a, a 2K paint with a hardener is obviously the best you're going to get. But if you don't want to get the gun out, you just want to quickly spray some brackets up like that, give them some sort of protection from the rust. This is the stuff I'll use. Right, so I've just finished on bolting on all the brackets that I made up for the oil cooler. So you can see this is the one that you didn't get to see me make. But I've used serrated locking nuts and nice stainless fittings on the back. And it's all nice and secure, nice thick gauge steel. That's gonna be nice and strong. And the same with this bracket here. You can see it's a bit of a funky bracket, but it does the job and you'll see it all bolted on. Serrated nuts on the back again and some nice stainless button fittings. So that's nice and tidy looking really good so we get this on the car now and we can start making these lines up so there's a bracket here that holds this intercooler pipe that was made by a previous owner but it actually works pretty well so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just using an extra long bolt that goes through there and then that bolt that goes through there is going to have a nylon nut on it and that holds the oil cooler so that's absolutely perfect nice and strong it's going to fit on there nicely exactly where we want it as you can see here this is the, the bolt that I was telling you about that obviously holds on the boost pipe I've made it extra long and then that's going to allow this one, this bracket here, to bolt onto that. So that will bolt up there, this one will bolt into its position up here and it will just sit like that. So let's get that bolted in. Right, so that's the finished article all nicely bolted on. Can see if it's in there really really nice exactly how i wanted to nice and tight loads of clearance just literally just below the water bottle that i wanted and it's nice and solid on there so you can see that's the bracket round there fits in there all nice and snug and it looks like a factory kit so i'm really happy with that and now nah, we've just got to get these oil lines made up so obviously we've got these nice satin black or gloss black hel fittings so just going to make the oil lines up and uh, see they're gonna have nice clearance perfect exactly how we wanted it so you can see there that's why I needed to do it upside down so the bumper's obviously gonna come about down here so we're gonna have loads of clearance there so let's get to making these oil lines up so as I showed you previously all the actual fittings are going over to satin black or gloss black whatever you want to call that sort of finish um, it's much better than the old style blue and red look like it's more of an 80s feel that sort of look uh, everything's a bit more about the stealth look now. So all this is from HEL, all high quality stuff. Um, one of the reasons that we started this process was because these banjos here, we had to get new ones because the oil housings on the five and six are different to the seven, eight and nine. And you can see here, the actual banjos themselves, they're a different size. So if I look at them up close, you can clearly see the next size. I think these are 16s and these are 18s or something like that. Um, the measurements I have got written down. But these are the different sizes. So if you have got a 7, 8 and 9, they're a different size oil housing. So that's why we had to use them. So the oil lines are getting made up with these black fittings. They're going to look really good.
So that's another job ticked off the list. So we've got the oil lines made up now. You can see we've got the lovely fresh fittings on there. I think the black and the braided line goes really well. You can see these banjos, they will go in the end here. So they will screw in the end. And then this is what bolts to the actual oil cooler housing um, that goes to the oil filter. So we get these on the car now and this is gonna look a million dollars compared to how it looked before. Um, and them fittings that we had on there previously, which are over here so much tackier so if you can see why i wanted to change them over they're just an old school design they just don't go with the theme of the car enough i think you agree that the satin look looks a million times better than the uh blue and uh, like red anodized fittings that they used to have on there in the past so let's get these oil lines on so there we go the oil coolers all mounted on there all fitted on there nicely all the oil lines are on i've just cable tied it all up so it tied up nicely under there you can see the route that i took absolutely perfect goes up to the oil cooler housing uh, who needs a fitting kit really so <laughs> just make the brackets and that up yourself so i think that fits really nicely right really nice and secure on there now so all that's left to do is throw this bumper on and uh, we have to see the airflow through this duct here so it's going to sit there perfectly and i love the stealth black look everything's going well so you see the stealth black intercooler going with the oil cooler i've just chucked the front bumper on so i can show you where the oil cooler sits behind the actual bumper itself you can see there perfectly in line with the duct and the airflow so you're gonna have no problem with oil temperatures now and you can see through there plenty of airflow through there and the fitment under here is spot on too so you can see how nice that looks um, even round to this actual fitting itself so what I'm gonna do is just trim that little bit there it's not actually touching it but it's just a little bit tight and uh, obviously the bumper moves around a little bit when you're going over bumps don't it knocking on that so just gonna give that a little bit of a trim and the oil cooler sits under there perfectly. Who needs a fitting kit when you can just do it like that? So I thought I'd give you a little look at the kit off the car just to finish it off. So that's completely custom. Everything made, everything handmade, you know, all the brackets, the whole lot. So just goes to show you can fit anything to anything if you try. Let me know in the comment section what you think of that and what car you want to see next. If you enjoyed that episode, smash that like button, subscribe. Please share these videos if you want. If you want the channel to grow fast, the more I can make, the more content I can make, and it all just goes around in a snowball. So thanks for watching. I appreciate anyone that's got to the end of the video. Uh, really do appreciate all you lot. Uh, without you, there'd be no channel.